Hey guys, it's Nathan with American West Realty. Somebody's mowing across the street, so I'm gonna give you the details on this one inside. This is 907 Canyon Avenue. I'm gonna be quiet for a second. So you can see cars driving by. This is uh, right around lunchtime, about one o'clock. You can see traffic's pretty busy, but it's not uh, hardly noticeable inside the house at all. So we've got a great enclosed, uh, kind of a sitting area front porch here that opens to the living room. Beautiful hardwood floors. Some great patterns there. We've got a nice gas fireplace. You'll notice as I go through the house that all the lights are off. This is again about one o'clock in the afternoon. There's a lot of natural light throughout the home. So nice living room. Over here we have the dining room. We've got some built-in uh, hutches there. Provide lots of storage space. I'm sorry if this video is shaky. It is raw and unedited. So here we have the kitchen. Again, lots of storage space. Got a nice gas range, mounted microwave, dual sink. You can see upgraded electrical with GFCI outlets. All the windows are functional. We do have screens for the windows. A lot of big bright windows back here. Got a nice breakfast nook in the back so you can have your formal dining in front. Less formal back here. Little bench. This is the entry to the backyard. I'll take you through the entry in the basement here in a minute. And here, these are the few lights I've got on because it's the interior space. We've got a three quarter bath, so this is a shower with no bathtub. Some linen storage there. And toilet back there. We have the second bedroom, which opens up to the living room there on the other side. Again, nice, bright, natural light. And here we have the master bedroom. It's got a walk-in closet back here. Of a shorter walk-in closet and just to give you an idea that window bank is probably about I'm gonna guess seven to eight foot wide so you can see plenty of room for a, even a king-size bed with nightstands or other furniture in here these windows do open up to the stairwell and over there you can see the breakfast nook but it wouldn't be hard to put some kind of tinting or some adhesive uh, film over that for additional privacy, if one so desired. And then here is the master bathroom. Again, lots of storage, lots of light. And this is a full bath, so we've got a tub and a shower. Really neat features throughout. Like, take a look at that old light fixture there. And then this door here could be closed so that again, it gives you the uh, privacy of the entire master. This hallway would basically be closed off to the rest of the house. And here we have the upstairs, which would be bedroom three. Uh, I personally think it'd make a great uh, office space, rec room, hobby room, family room. The owners have been using it as an office and workout space, I think. Lots of storage, so you've got a, a big closet there as well as a smaller closet over on this side. Again, lots of natural light. This is a little bit of a steep stairwell, so keep that in mind. And then again, at the bottom of the stairs, we have the second bedroom with a closet. 
and which opens up to the living room. Now let's take a look down in the basement. You'll notice that throughout the house it is a hot water baseboard heat or maybe you'd call that a radiator heat. And down the steps here, so this being the back entrance, we've got plenty of coat racks, door leading to the back. And in the basement, there are a ton of shelves and built-in cabinets for storage. And I missed the light switch, so it's a little dark down here. Lots of cabinets and shelves. We've got space for a full-size washer and dryer. It would need to be a front loading because you do have this shelf system above it. We've got a small refrigerator that functions. More shelving, water heater, and furnace. So that's it for that. And going out the back door, we've got a nice little fenced yard. It is fully fenced. There is a walkout gate on that side of the house that leads to the front. It's a smaller backyard, but very well maintained. Got some great landscaping features, a little box garden there. So pretty good space without a lot of maintenance required. There is an in-ground sprinkler system. And here we have the detached two-car garage. Again, lots of built-in cabinets. The sprinkler controller is back there in the corner. Lots of natural light. You can see again, the lights are off, but it's still pretty bright in there. And then last but not least, the parking space behind the garage. One thing we'll point out, this is the uh, alley entrance right here. This section, basically from the corner of this fence and out to the west, that is an easement. So it's accessible for driving in and out, but it is not to be used for parking. So you've essentially got room for a couple vehicles side by side here in front of the garage uh, or a trailer or something. So there you go guys, that's 907 Canyon Avenue. I may have misspoke and said Canyon View. This is 907 Canyon Avenue. It's close to Dairy Queen, Sierra Trading Post, the high school. Great location. Uh, this home is available soon. If you want more information, be sure to check it out online at AmericanWestRealty.com where you can schedule a viewing or start the application process. Thanks.